This just came in from Newegg. It was on special. I forgot how much I paid. I think it was 220. It's a two terabyte PCIe SSD. I'm going to use this drive not as a operating system or anything. I'm going to use it to send um, to work off of. So I'm going to be writing and reading off of it a lot. I'm going to use my uh, video and uh, photo programs to save and write to this drive. Um, when I'm looking to convert a video to another format, it's going to be off of this drive. When I am... Uh, video editing and video compression and video um, and finally video rendering so that's what I use this for let's open it up see how it looks inside Oh, and I also do a lot of photo enhancing for my photos, my own personal photos. I forget the software I use, but I'm hoping this speeds it up. I'm assuming this is a lot faster than uh, the SSD, the standard SSD that I have through uh, SATA connection. Now, uh, run the black magic speed test to see what I get between the two. I'm amazed that we can get two terabytes in this thing, in this small packaging. I remember installing a 10 terabyte, I forget what it was called, it was, I know I'm uh, 
I'm sorry, not a 10 terabyte. Uh, a 10 gigabyte. Bigfoot. This hard drive was huge. And uh, I accidentally dropped it and messed up one of the components. I was able to get it fixed, but I remember it was this thing was just humongous. It was just huge. And now, <laughs> this is a thousand times bigger, and look how small it is. It's amazing, you know, what we'll be able to uh, do in the future. I'm assuming storage will one day be limitless. I'll be able to buy this and put everything I want on here. And never worry about running out of space. So let me put this in the computer and uh, run a speed test on it and see how uh, it does. This is the computer I'm putting the two terabyte PCIe SSD drive into. It's my uh, CyberPower PC. One of those custom built CyberPower PCs. Uh, so I just turned off the power and it's going into the slot is right there. You can see the peg sticking up. So I'm putting it in there. All done. Okay, let's see if it shows up under my computer. Um, nope, it's not showing up at all. All right, so that means I'm gonna have to go to administrative tools, start. This, uh. I'm running Windows 10, but this is a program called Start is Back. Start is Back. I think it costs 2 $3. It's an awesome, awesome program. It'll give you back all the start functionality in Windows 10 if you're interested. Okay, let me, uh, let me just show you really quickly. Let me go to the About screen. So the... Hold on one second. Um, so let me go to the location here and uh, that's the program. So the address is startisback.com, startisback.com. I saw him on Twit, I don't know how many years ago, but before, uh, during the time of uh, Windows 10, I think version one, or just starting a version two, and look at that, just two ninety nine, and you get all your start functionalities. I've been using this for years, and it works well. I have no idea how to use the standard Windows 10 desktop, since I've been using this, I've just... I can change it to any desktop I want, Windows 10. Um, uh, here's the appearance. Windows 10, any XP. I could have the flyout. I, I have so many different versions. This thing is awesome. You know, maybe I'll do a video on this. But anyway, just wanted to let you know, just in case you were curious about the start buying. So it's not coming up. So one of the nice things is I'm back to the old style. So I go to Administrative 2, Computer Management. You would do this through Control Panel, if anything. I'm going to go to Storage on the left. Uh, I'm sorry, Disk Management on the left. There it is. So it just popped up. It has to be initiated. It's right there at the bottom, if you can see it. So you may have to do this uh, to format it. It may not be formatted, so it's still not gonna show up because it has to get formatted. 
And as you can see, it's still not showing up. So we're gonna format this to end to good old NTFS. So I initiated it, it's online. And now I gotta do new simple volume. And uh, to next, I'm gonna use the whole thing and uh, leave it whatever letter comes up. Let's call this two terror by SSD. I'll just name it there. I'll do a quick. Uh, Format and don't ever use this compression tool. It's it's don't ever use it. It'll slow your computer down 99%. Anyway, so okay, everything looks good. And there it is formatting. It should take seconds since it is a SSD. Done. I can close this out. And it's gonna show up there. There it is. Good old two terabytes. So I'm replacing this. I'm sorry, I'm replacing this, which is my current scratch drive, to this, the two terabytes. So I'm going from a 120 to a two terabyte. All right, so I re oh, let me do the speed test before I go. So I'm doing the Black Magic speed test. right here this is the one that's famous for Max this is the Windows version okay and if you're having a hard time finding the Windows version uh, write it below and I'll, uh, I'll add the link if you're interested so anyway let me click on the settings uh, select target drive and we're going to select the two terabyte drive which is the one I just put in click OK and let's click start see how it does yeah I mean, it's, yeah, that's not good at all. Wow. I mean, it writes, reads and writes, but I just finished installing an NVMe drive into uh, a laptop of mine, and I was getting over 1,500 reads and write, um, and everything in the bottom was green. But, you know, it's going to serve its purpose. I need the space, and I need to write to it. Let me just make sure that it's writing to the right, that it's testing the correct drive. Yeah, it's writing to the correct drive. Let me check the SSD 2.5. So I may be uh, giving up some speed because I think the SSD, the 120, may be faster. So this is the 2 terabyte PCIe drive. And... Um, I don't know, maybe there's something I need to do, but this is the speed test on the default, just installing it, okay? So let me stop it and choose the... Uh, the 120. Okay. So let me choose, all right, so I'm choosing the standard 120 SSG to compare the, to compare the speed differences. Ah, same thing. So it's the same thing, but I'm uh, getting, oh, the read is much faster. Well, it's the same thing, but it's, uh, it's got a lot more space. It's got 20, 
20 times more space. So that'll help me. That'll make up the difference. All right, so that's that one. Let me let me try my drive. Uh, the C drive. Okay, that when that happens, you gotta select it, close it, and start it up again. Yeah, same thing on my regular C drive. Let me see the reads. Uh, okay. So, a regular standard hard drive, um, you only get. Um, oh, you know what? I might even do better on some of my some of my standard hard drives. But I guess I'm trading in. Let me switch this to one gig. Select the new. Select the. Uh, the two terabyte drive again. Yeah, same thing. All right, so those are the speed tests with, with uh, for the two terabyte drive. The model number is on there. Those are my speed tests. So I hope you liked the video and I hope uh, it helps you. Thank you. Bye.